Run the software Aris and Gmail backup tool. Then, enter your email id and the third-party app password of Gmail on the tool and click on the login button. Wait for a while, the tool switches you to the browser where you have to choose the Gmail account for the software. After selecting the Gmail account, click on it. Now, the browser shows you the Confirm Your Choices tab, where the options allowed by you are displayed. Moreover, you can also preview the client ID. A pop-up tab opens on the screen where you have to grant different permission to the software. Click Allow to read, compose, send, and permanently delete all your emails from Gmail. Then allow see, edit, create and delete all of your Google Drive files. Then, allow see, edit, download, and permanently delete your contacts. At last, allow see, edit, share, and permanently delete all the calendars you can access using the Google Calendar. You can also preview the scope of the software at the URL bar. Then click on Allow, and it will redirect you to the Aris and Gmail backup software. Check the email icon from the select category and click Next. Now, the software provides you different features such as Mark as Read, Send Email to Another Account, and Delete After Download. For the Mark as Read feature, follows the steps. Select the folder of your choice. Then take the Mark as Read option. Now go to the chosen Gmail account and check your unread email on which you want to perform this option. Then click next to mark as read the chosen unread email. Wait for a while to end the process. After that, you can also preview on the Gmail account whether the unread email was read or not. To send an email to another Gmail. Pick Gmail from the select email format option and click next. Then select the folder of your choice and press next. A new sign in page pop up on the screen. Enter your login credential and press the login button. After some time the process finishes. Then click OK. You can also preview the email on another account where you send the selected folder email. To opt for the delete after download option. Select the folder from which you want to remove emails and click on the delete after download feature. On the pop tab of are you sure you want to delete the emails from the server after download? Click yes. Then press next to remove the selected folder data from the Gmail account. Now. You can also view on your Gmail account that the selected folder is empty. And your email is deleted permanently from the Gmail server. After that, you can also preview your trash bin folder, the selected email is not present there. Now, check the calendar icon from the select category. After that, you have to select the destination location for the new restaurant files and click next. In the new wizard, you have to select the folder that you want to download. Click next to start the conversion. After the process is complete a page pop up on the screen. All files are saved, click OK, here, you can also preview your backup files at the selected destination. For delete after download option select the calendar folder which you want to delete after backup. Check the delete after download option. It will display a pop up tab. Are you sure you want to delete the data from the server after download? Click yes. Here, you can view the calendar data present on the selected Gmail account. Then click next to start the backup of selected calendar folders. Wait for a while to finish the process. After that, open the browser where you store your calendar. The data is removed from there. Now, check the contact icon from the select category. Then choose the destination folder where you want to backup the contacts of your login Gmail account. Then click next for other steps. Select the contact folders you want to backup from Gmail. You can opt for built in features as per requirement and click next. In the new wizard, the backup process is started. After the download is completed a page pop up on the screen. All files are saved, click OK. Here, you can also preview your selected contact folders at the selected destination folder. To opt with delete after download option select the contact folder which you want to delete after download. Click on the delete after download option. It will show you a pop up tab. Are you sure you want to delete the data from the server after download? Click yes. Here. You can preview the contact data present on the login Gmail account. Then click next to start the downloading of selected contacts folders. Wait for some time to complete the process. After that, open the contact folder in Gmail where you store your contact data. The data is deleted from there. Check the My Drive option from the Select category. Then click on the Browse button to select the detention folder, where you want to save the drive data. After that, click Next. Now. Select the drive folders which you want to save on the system. You can also choose the inbuilt features as per your requirement. Then press next. The downloading process is started on another tab. Wait for a while to complete the process. After the process is complete a page pop up on the screen. All files are saved successfully. Click OK. 
You can also preview your selected drive folder at the selected destination folder. For delete after download option choose the drive folder which you want to remove after save. Tick on the delete after download. It will display a pop-up tab. Are you sure you want to delete the data from the server after download? Click yes. Here, you can view the drive folder data present on the login Gmail account. Then click next to begin the downloading of selected drive folders. Wait for some time to complete. After that, open the drive folder in the Gmail account where you store it. The data is removed from there. Now you can close the Arison software. Now, have a look at the steps that show how the Arison Gmail backup tool downloads Gmail account email, calendar, contacts, and drive automatically on the user system. Check the email icon from the select category taskbar. Then click on the browse button to select the destination folder and press next. Now, select the folders that you want to back up on the local system and tap on the next to start the saving process. Then wait for a while, so that the saving process ends. After that, close the software, the tool is automatically added to the tray of recent software. Here, you can also view the selected destination. The software itself saved the chosen folders to that location. Now for the automatic process of saving the email to that selected location. Here, you will have to send an email to the account logged in the Gmail backup tool. Then refresh your login account, you will find that the new email arrives on your Gmail account. After that, the tool provides you a notification that the one new email downloaded in the selected format. Now, open the software from the tray. You will find that the saving of a new email automatically starts. Then you can also check the selected destination folder again. A new email has arrived. Tick the calendar icon from the select category taskbar. Now, tap on the browse button and select the destination path for the new backup folder, and press next. Then click next for further process. The backup process of your chosen folder starts, you can also understand it by viewing the file count of calendars. After that, you can also preview the selected destination folder whether the calendar folder is saved or not. Then, close the software, the utility is automatically added to the tray. Now, for understanding the automatic process of saving calendars by the software. Here you will have to create a new calendar and save them on your login account. Then go to the tray and open the Gmail backup tool again on the system. You will view that the adding of the newly created calendar is started. After that, the tool provides you a notification that the one new calendar is downloaded in the selected format. At last, you can also preview your selected destination folder. The newly added calendar has arrived. Check the contacts icon from the select category taskbar. Then click on the browse button to choose the destination location for the new folder. After that, click next for another step. Now, in the new window of the software, check the contacts folders from the select folder list. Then tap on the next button. The saving process of the selected contacts folder will begin. You can also understand by viewing the status menu. After that, you can also preview the selected destination folder whether your chosen contacts folder is saved or not. Then, close the Gmail backup tool. The software is automatically added to the tray. Now, for knowing the automatic process of saving contact by the software, you will have to create a new contact on your login Gmail account and click on the Save button. Then opt with the tray to launch the Eris and Gmail backup software again. You will find that the adding of newly created contacts is started. Then the tool also provides you a notification that the one new contact is downloaded in the selected format. Finally, preview your selected destination folder location on the system, the newly added contacts have arrived. Tick the My Drive icon from the Select Category taskbar. Then click on the Browse button to select the detention folder, where you want to back up the drive data. After that, click Next for further process. Now, check the drive folders from the Select Folder menu, which you want to save on your local system. You can also opt for built-in features as per your choices. Then tap the Next button. In the new wizard of the software, the downloading process is started, waiting for a while to so that the process is completed. You can also view in the status chart that the file count of my drive is itself increased. After that, you can also preview the chosen destination folder, whether the drive folder is backup or not. Then, close the Gmail backup software, the tool is automatically added to the tray. Now, for understanding the automatic process of downloading drive data by the software. You will have to create a new doc or sheet on your login Gmail account. Then click on the tray to run the Eris and Gmail backup software again. You will find that the adding of the newly created drive is started. After that, the software provides you with a notification that the one new drive is downloaded in the selected format. Finally, 
Preview your selected destination folder path on the system. The newly added drive has added to the folder.